everyone, welcome once again to another Fish and Chippies fishing adventure. Managed to get out, um, it's been absolutely ages since I've been able to get out fishing, but I'm pleased to say I'm here today and I've come down to Chesil Beach. It's Friday the 25th. I've managed to get a, a pass out for the weekend, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do uh, hopefully do an all weekender down here. Um, I've come to a mark, I've never ever fished this before on Chesil. It's a place called Cogden Beach, which is the other end we normally fish down towards Portland and that area but we've come right up the other side which is the west side of west side yeah so we're at the west side of the beach um, now I've already noticed how uh, sort of shallow it is here it's almost like fine sand here as well it's unbelievable um, so yeah I'm targeting place today now to be honest with you the, tar the tides are against me and the water's pretty coloured and I know that the place don't like that sort of thing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a try anyway so I've got some lovely ragworm and I've got a bit of squid and some bluey as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to put a, uh, a bait out with very small hooks just like a 1-0 hook I've got a wishbone ring and I'm going to show you another rig that I've, I, I've found it's been out a while called the Bagnall Bar Re looks really good so I've chucked one of them out and I'm going to put a, a, a bigger bait out as well and try and target some ray. So I'm going to put like a dropper pulley or a pulley rig, try and target some race. But yeah, I'm just I'm just really excited and pleased that I'm I'm, I'm out because it just feels like ages. The last time I, I think I have done a video was was last year. So God, I mean, look, we're nearly into March now. Um, so yeah, I'm just I'm I'm gonna like I say I'm I'm just getting set up now. I've got the two rods set up again, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to. A, another session down on Chesil Beach so what I'll do is I'll keep posting in I'm going to show you rigs um, and, and all the stuff and, and the weights and the leads that I'm using I'm using a I'm not using a gripper lead today I'm using a rolling lead so I'm trying like I say I'm targeting the place but I'm not too optimistic because the, 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 I mean look it's beautiful what a day what an absolute compared to what we've had with all the stormy weather and everything else so Anyway, let's get set up, and what I'll do is I'll check back in with you in a bit, and we'll, we'll have a chat about it. All right, and I'll speak to you in a bit. Down there, um, yes, yeah, so I'm not sure if that was a bite or not. I don't know if you can see that, but that was just yeah, it definitely feels. I thought I'm going to bring this one in.
one. I thought I could see the pull down. <laughs> First fish of the year, look, a dogfish, only on the second cast, just on a ragworm bait there. Um, I just thought, I, I thought, I, I don't know, we, was he pulling? And then, yeah, look, little dogfish, but I'm gonna, I think the other rod, the other rod's hanging away as well, so I'm gonna get this fella back. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you this rig. Um, I know it's been around for a while. I, I have heard of it before, but I've, I've never, I've never bought one. But I wanted to try it out, especially for the place fishing. It's called the Bagnall Bar. Now, it's invented by a guy from Christchurch Angling. Um, and what it comprises of, can you see how long I've got this trace here? That's on just like a running ledger on that bar, if you can see that. So it's a stainless steel bar. Now, at the bottom of the stainless steel bar. I've got an imp there and I've attached just a, 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 like a rolling lead there which I'm which I'm using for the, for the place then it comes up to a, a swivel that you attach your um, your snud onto goes up then to a little T, TC spring there with another swivel on it up there so you see that there that just comes down like that now how you do this is I've attached a little wishbone rig there, look, with some very small hooks. You see that little um, uh, cascade there, that cascade swivel? That actually hooks onto the swivel on to the swivel at the top of this bar. Let me try and show you, look. So that clips onto there like that. If I can do it. Oh yeah. Right, so that clips onto there like that. And, and then the hooks getting all fingers and thumbs let me let me just hang this up a second and then I can show you and then the, what, what happens is the hooks then you clip your hooks onto your imp I'll clip it all up and then I can show you a bit better what, what it looks like look. so that clips onto there so off of that there so you've got a very small a very small piece of line coming down from there from there to sorry I'll come back piece of line coming down from there to where it, it clips onto the imp then you've got this whole trace like that now when the imp releases it releases it all and it sends off this this line and it's it's brilliant for place fishing I mean I have seen them I've never ever tried them it's what I've just caught that dogfish on so do you know what I just thought I'd show you that's called the Bagnall bar but it, it's 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 a lovely a lovely rig for place definitely um just shame we're not getting any at the minute <laughs> all right guys I'll, I'll catch up i'll just sort of show you that i'll catch up with you in a bit like mad as well these little ones i tell you I'm, I'm pulling quite a few of these out at the minute um i've got a bite on the other rod as well so i'm going to get this fella back in and, and have a look at that one as well
right guys right um right i'm getting plagued with dogfish now so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh get packed up get up to the van um and then i'm going to have another go tomorrow i might try and head down towards um uh west bexington or, may or maybe abbotsbury so yeah but it's been good i like it here first time i fished um cogden i know a lot of you guys who fish chesil uh i'll have fished this place but i reckon on its day it could be a good mark so like i said what i'm going to do i'm just going to pack down get away and then we're going to start the video up again tomorrow morning and hopefully we can get into it something different like i say it's just been dogfish after dogfish but i'm not complaining honestly sorry i'm not complaining it's good we're catching fish and that's all we wanted all right guys right so until tomorrow and i'll catch you then all right then right hello everyone again here we are again back down on chesil it's saturday today um yeah I had a bit of a bit of a night last night so i managed to get my head down in the end anyway i've come down i've come to a different part of the beach today i've come to uh, a place i used to fish uh, ages ago abbotsbury just behind the fishermen's cottages there so the car park is down that way uh yesterday i was right down at, um, at cogden like i said i was uh, played with the old dogfish well it's a different story today the sea's big the sea is big the wind's up it said it was going to get up um so i'm gonna have to change tactics today fingers crossed i'm hoping for a ray that's what i want to do because i've got some bluey i've got some squid i'll just show you I've still got the ragworm from um, from yesterday. Well, I've got some nice uh, blueies there, as well as the squid. I'll do some cocktails, but I'm gonna I'm gonna target them. But I've got a horrible feeling it's gonna be dogfish and straps. But the sea is big. I mean, you know, there's a chance of anything out there. This is Chesil Beach. This is this is the the beach where it, 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 you either win or you lose. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just going to get set up now, there's a, few, there's a few people down here, like I said the wind has picked right up today so it's really churned up out there, the sea's big, so let's get into it and let's see what happens, so I'm going to fish it all day today so I'll be checking in and catching up and talking about a few bits and bobs. Alright guys, I'll see you in a bit. So I've been fishing for a couple of hours now, not even getting a knock, I can't see anybody else pulling, pulling anything in on the beach, so it's quite surprising because I thought with the way that it's quite churned up out there, it might have brought the fish in a bit and, you know, put them on the feed, but not even getting any bites. So we've just gone over low water now and I'm going to fish it up to high tide, which is, I think, around sort of four or five o'clock tonight. So I'll, get, I'll give it my best shot. But like I say, I mean, look, conditions really perfect for sort of, you know, anything from dogfish to congers, anything will do. <laughs> Yeah, that's fishing for you. But we'll keep plugging away. Like I say, I'm just I'm I'm just down the other side of the cottages. I'll just I'll just show you. I'll just see if I can pan the pan the camera uh, put the camera around. So you've got the cottages there, you've got the subtropical gardens of Abbotsbury up there. Um Yeah, like I say. I'll bring it right round. I say there's a few few guys fishing down there as well um, so yeah there's plen plenty of plenty of people on the beach um, like I said I've not seen anybody else pull, pull anything in to be honest with you um, well, let's see what happens that's what it's all about at the end of the day I'm just glad I'm here I really am right guys speak to you in a bit Well, this is how it can be sometimes, unfortunately. I've been fishing now, what, two, six, seven hours, and I have not even had a bite. All the baits are coming back clean. Um, I'm trying everything, close in, distance, good selection of bait, and it's just not happening. And this is what can happen on this beach. It, honestly, one day it'll fish like you've never seen, and the next day, nothing. I mean, you look yesterday, I was just bite after bite um, down at Cogden. And then I've come up to Abbotsbury today and it is just dead. <laughs> that is fishing for you. Oh, honestly. Still, what a day. Gorgeous day. Beautiful day here down on Chesil. <sighs> Do you know what? I've got, I've got to try and give it a little high tide. You watch, I'll pack up and there'll be a load of reports coming. Fish caught all night. <laughs> 
be just my luck that will anyway i'll uh i'll, I'll sign off for a minute and see what happens uh, any anything else that comes comes along i'm sure i'll get it on film i can't i can't blank today i've got to, i've got to catch a fish i'm gonna i'm determined all right i'll speak to you in a bit Right guys, I'm going to close this one out now. Um, nothing today, blankety blank. <laughs> but like I always said, I always say, you know, you pay your money, you take your chance. Another, you know, tomorrow this could fish really well, um, but today it's been nothing for me all day. So I'm going to cut my losses. I'm going to go on and get uh, get some food and, and get a sneaky pint in. Um, I just wanted to say, I'm, I just wanted to say, look, I'm really thank you very much everybody thanks for all the comments again and it's much appreciated thanks for all the subscribers and everybody who watches and and and, and likes it um i know i've always said it's not everyone's cup of tea but you know i try and give a little bit of of, of what i know and everything else so I, it's much appreciated um i'm gonna be fishing uh, up in North Yorkshire, I think it's the 11th of March. That'll be my next fishing trip, I think. I'm um, going to do the competition up there, the EOBC. So any of you guys who are, who are up there or whatever, bump in, have a chat, you know, whatever. Let's let's see if we can uh, see you up there, if anybody's going up there. Um, but yeah, like I say, we, <laughs> we'll try again. It's uh, like I, said, I, I, I did go out um, a couple of weeks ago down to Southbourne and it was nothing was happening there either um, but look I've had a great day down here on Chesil beautiful beach and uh, yeah oh one other thing always try and respect the beach guys always pick pick your litter up and everything else try and leave it out how you found it I was walking along here this morning and um, god there was rubbish everywhere so I picked a lot of it up chucked it in a black bin bag it's up there and I'm going to take it down to the rubbish but Respect the beach, guys. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the next Fishing Chippy's Fishing Adventure. Thanks very much, guys. Speak soon.